Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Parenting and Pregnancy Podcast, where I sit down with experts, parents, and other individuals discussing all of the topics relevant to you throughout your pregnancy, childbirth, parenting, and beyond. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, consider subscribing so you don't miss any new episodes. This week, I sat down with Dr. Cassie Benny. Dr. Cassie Benny is a Wisconsin native now serving the Rapid City community. She received her doctorate of chiropractic from Northwestern Health Sciences University in 2019. Dr. Benny has special interest in women's health, pregnancy, postpartum, and pediatric care. She is certifications in perinatal chiropractic and Webster technique by the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association and is also certified in pediatric chiropractic by the Academy Council of Chiropractic Pediatrics. Dr. Benny uses MC2 technique analysis for specific and gentle nervous system based adjustments. Dr. Benny is passionate about living a clean, toxic-free lifestyle and the body's ability to heal itself natural from birth and beyond. She enjoys educating and empowering others about the innate ability the body has to self-heal when neurological interference is removed. Outside of the office, Dr. Benny enjoys spending time with family, traveling, being outdoors, and visiting local coffee shops. In this episode specifically, we sat down and discussed how chiropractic care can help during pregnancy. We discussed the Webster technique and how that's used during pregnancy. Uh, Dr. Benny explained how we can use chiropractic care to help our body naturally heal itself throughout pregnancy and how we can avoid some of those pregnancy symptoms that are really common, including sciatica and things like that through a, through removing neurological interference to allow the body to heal itself. Dr. Benny also described the four T's of stress and how those play into your body's well-being, as well as the healing capabilities of your own body when we get rid of that interference. So without further ado, let's get into this episode. All right, uh, Dr. Cassie, um, can you just start by um, explaining to us uh, what you do and what your credentials are? Yeah, so I am a nervous system focused chiropractor. Um, I'm certified in pediatrics and I'm perinatal or pregnancy certified. So I have the Webster certification. Um, yeah, so most of my practice is seeing infants, children, and pregnant and postpartum women. Okay, and so um, what exactly do chiropractors do, um, especially kind of in this perinatal period, and what's the benefit of it? So, of course, I'm kind of, there's a lot of different types of chiropractors and types of chiropractic, um, so kind of what I guess I'll be describing today is a lot from like the nervous system, like centered chiropractic, um, because that's what I do. So, um, so my focus is for practice members coming in to restore normal function um, in their body. So I'm not treating like the pain, I'm not treating their symptoms um, throughout pregnancy or throughout childhood we're actually just putting input into their nervous system to help restore that normally normal body functioning um, through like decreased interference in their nervous system, which allows the, the innate healing capabilities that the body has to function optimally. Okay, so when you say innate um, functions of the body, you mean kind of these natural processes or the normal way our body functions? Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. So how our bodies were created was very intelligently and we have natural um, healing abilities in our body. Um, and sometimes when we have outside stressors um, that put us in a state of what I call like dis-ease, um, that our body's healing capability can be hindered sometimes through that. And so um, in the first place that inflammation and stress 
targets in our body is the nervous system. And so that's why I'm a nervous system centered chiropractor is um, we're going to be doing an analysis for the nervous system, seeing how it's functioning um, and where we have to put a specific input into the nervous system through the spine um, to help like restore this normal like body function and optimal healing. Okay, so you're not doing, I think, what a lot of people think of when they think of chiropractor, kind of this generic idea of we're going in and you're cracking all these joints and and contorting us in these weird positions. Um, Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. So um, a lot of the adjustments that I do don't involve like the cracking, popping, clicking noises, Um, although like some adjustments do. sorry, um, some adjustments, there will be that noise, but most of the time, um, the adjustments are very gentle, um, not involving any of, of those movements that might cause that, that releasing gas and the, the popping, clicking noise to happen. Um, so, um, So my husband and I practice very differently within our same clinic, and he is what I call a skeletal based chiropractor, um, which is kind of what you're describing um, to me. So where they're going in and kind of feeling um, what joints aren't moving and then putting an adjustment force into those joints um, where the nervous system centered kind of care that I do um, is a very specific analysis of the spine and seeing where a very specific input needs to be put in to the nervous system to allow that innate or that normal um, body functioning um, to occur. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. And it's so interesting to me um, to know that there's these different types of chiropractic um, as that's kind of new to me and or chiropractic care. Um, It's kind of new to me, and I find that really fascinating that there's different systems that you can, or at least correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like there's different systems that we, that chiropractors can um, adjust and influence to improve overall health. Um, Is that correct? Right. Yeah. So there's nervous system and then there's the skeletal system and then there's the muscular system. So those are three um, different kind of goals and views on like how you can receive chiropractic care. So some chiropractors will focus heavily on the muscular system and doing soft tissue work. And um, then there's the skeletal system where it's more based off of like joint position and joint movement. And then there's the nervous system side um, and seeing where where that nervous system needs specific input into put into it. And as chiropractors, there's not like a right or wrong um, type of chiropractic care to receive. It's we talk a lot about this in our clinic um, because my husband and I practice differently is what are your goals of chiropractic care? Um, so we're very specific. Um, what your goals are and what type of care you want to receive um, because, or sorry, um, because based off those goals, like that can change the type of chiropractic care you receive. Um, And all chiropractors are, we're trying to influence the nervous system in some way um, because all those systems are impacted by one another. So I kind of described to all my patients is we have stress that occurs and that causes inflammation in the body. And that first place it targets, like I said, is the nervous system and and bones um, don't move on their own unless you have an outside force, like you break a bone or something like that. Um, And muscles don't spasm on their own. So when you have that decreased um, neurological interference, that can cause the muscles to spasm. And then that muscle spasming can cause that joint to become displaced or restricted. Um, And so really through that kind of circle of stress, um, different chiropractors are going to be focusing on different areas. So I'm just kind of starting at that nervous system area first. Okay. So really every, every sort of chiropractic work in some way comes back to nervous system and all these systems work together. It does. Yeah. And, um, 
I guess the limiting factor would be how you're testing the nervous system function, because um, as a chiropractor, we're not treating anything. We're not treating people's pain. We're not treating their symptoms that they might be coming in for or here that chiropractic can help with. Um, so once that symptom is gone, how are we determining if that person needs an adjustment? Is it based solely on pain and symptoms? Um, so that's, that's um, the differing factor too, is based off the type of care you're receiving, um, how you determine when you need the adjustment is also different. Okay. Um, well, I think that segues nicely then into um, kind of the benefits of, of the type of chiropractic work that you do for pregnant mothers and mothers postpartum and maybe even a little bit with, with our infants um, because it sounds like this is a really valuable um, type of chiropractic work uh, in that kind of demographic. Is, can you kind of explain a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, I'm sorry, <laughs> something in my throat. Um, so yes, I I am Webster Technique certified, which is like what most people in like the pregnancy realm of chiropractic, like they're looking for a Webster certified chiropractor, right? So um, Webster Technique is a very specific analysis um, of the muscular or neuromusculoskeletal system. Yeah, and it's promoting balance in the pelvis. So there is soft tissue work, like working on the round ligaments and other ligaments and muscles that does happen. So um, especially for pregnant um, moms, chiropractic can be really helpful in reducing um, pain throughout pregnancy, um, whether that's in the round ligaments or another common one is like their sciatica pain that, that they're coming in and um, wanting help with or pubic bone pain is another common one um, during pregnancy. So and then there's postpartum, like things kind of shift, especially um, as you're holding a newborn baby or maybe breastfeeding, um, the areas of tension and pain might shift as your body is doing these new routines um, kind of suddenly. So um, does that kind of answer your question, Sydney? Yeah, yeah, that does. Um, so you were talking about kind of whether or not to initiate chiropractic care. Um, if there are symptoms, if there's not, you're kind of talking about some of these pregnancy symptoms that that the Webster technique can um, help alleviate. But should a mother kind of wait to seek out this care until she's experiencing symptoms? Is there a point in pregnancy that you'd recommend maybe just coming in and getting an evaluation? What's kind of your recommendation for that? So again, um, chiropractic care directly isn't treating these symptoms. Um, we are putting an input into the body that helps regulate the nervous system to function fully. And then with that full restoration of function, because your nervous system, <coughs> sorry, as I start talking, my, <laughs> I have to stop. Um, so as your nervous system begins to heal, whether that's from stressors that are occurring throughout pregnancy or prior to pregnancy, maybe even back to your own labor and delivery um, when your mom delivered you um, or in utero experience, we can have these stressors that have accumulated over time that present as symptoms. Um, and so we are not treating this sciatic pain, we're not treating this pubic um, symphysis dysfunction, we are reducing subluxation, which is neurological interference in the body. And the body is healing from within. So your body or this mother's body is truly what is healing itself um, with the help of the chiropractic adjustment. So um, I know that's kind of um, maybe a little bit hard <laughs> to, to understand because people are coming in um, saying, oh, chiropractic care has helped um, with X, Y, Z. And yes, it has, but it's really your body that's been doing the, the true healing um, with the aid of chiropractic. And, and so did that answer your question or is there another part to your question, Sydney, that I didn't answer? 
No, that's great. So I also think I, I didn't answer like kind of when people should kind of start care, right? So um, <clears throat> the earlier that you at least get checked or evaluated by a chiropractor, the better, because especially during pregnancy, when we kind of are on this timeline, right? of getting you to like an optimal functioning state before labor and delivery, um, to help like with that process. Um, and unfortunately pain and symptoms are one of the last things to occur. Typically there's like precursors, um, whether that's like indigestion or acid reflux or things like that, that aren't necessarily pain related, but other symptoms that might be showing that there's like dis-ease happening in the body, um, that there's not optimal healing happening in the body. And so a lot of people think of chiropractors as just spine doctors or pain doctors, right? Um, but the sooner we can get in um, to a chiropractor in pregnancy or even before pregnancy, right, to help um, this healing occur sooner rather than later because we are kind of on a timeline and if the and if the the healing needed to happen prior to pregnancy sometimes it can be really hard to um, fu fully heal throughout pregnancy because as you know like each week of pregnancy is so different um, so we're kind of up against a lot of things like with the body changing so much during pregnancy so I really do recommend women to kind of start their care earlier rather than later, even if they're not having pain, um, because we can help with so many other things than just um, pain and pregnancy and, and kind of the a common, a common statement I hear in my practice is, well, I'm just having the normal pregnancy pains. And it's really unfortunate when I hear the that hear women say say this because it's it might be common, but it doesn't have to be normal. Um, I, I love that you bring that up because I see that working with women postpartum similarly, um, where that something that many women have experienced or many infants experience, they believe because it's common, it's normal and healthy. So I love that you brought that up. And it's interesting to hear that that relates to chiropractic care as well and these pregnancy symptoms. Yeah, I think that unfortunately our society has kind of put, put us in a position to like, oh, just push through, like push through this, like your pregnancy is gonna be done. Like this is normal. like. And I just try to explain to these women that like, this is common, but it doesn't have to be your normal. So for example, I went um, nine days overdue <laughs> um, with, I, I do the air quotes because babies really come when they're ready to come. So um, I was nine days over my due date and for my son and and I was comfortable, like I wasn't in any extra amount of pain. And some, when people were t would talk to me, they're like, oh, like, aren't you ready? Like for pregnancy to be done. And, and really I felt fine. Um, and, and I think I really attribute a lot of that to just getting like regular chiropractic care throughout, I mean, before pregnancy, but especially during my pregnancy, because um, our bodies were designed for um, being able to carry a child and deliver a child. Um, and that, and that is normal. <laughs> um, and so our body should be able, like, we're not going to get rid of all stress in our life. And that's something I talk about with patients, like nervous system based chiropractic care is all about increasing your adaptability to life stressors. Um, and so and we're not going to get rid of stress fully. Modern day times, we have a lot of different types of stressors than like maybe our ancestors did. So um, that does kind of put a little bit more stress on our nervous system and body. Um, we're sitting for longer periods of time. We're inside for longer periods of time. We have more barriers like with nature and the earth than we, than we used to prior. Um, and so we kind of have 
all of these things up against us already. And that's where chiropractic care can kind of um, be helpful in like mitigating these stressors um, for people, especially pregnant women that are undergoing so many changes hormonally, chemically, you know, physically and mentally and emotionally um, throughout pregnancy and postpartum. Well, that is so fascinating to me. And it really, I'm so glad I'm getting a chance to sit down with you. And I'm sure many other um, women will find this really beneficial because it's kind of shifting my view on what exactly the function of a chiropractor is and, and the benefit it brings and challenging some of these, the, the normal symptoms at, of pregnancy as something that you have to tolerate. Um, and one question I was going to ask you was, um, what are some of the symptoms that that would show that chiropractic care is is something that you should maybe seek out during your pregnancy? But it sounds like maybe that's kind of the wrong question to ask, hearing what you're saying, that it's not about you have symptoms and you come in and get a cure for your symptoms, but that knowing these changes are going to happen in your body um, and that these stressors are going to occur, that maybe seeking out this care before pregnancy and during pregnancy is really important for just balancing all of these things that your your body's going to go through. Is that correct? Yeah, it's it's definitely a shift in um, how we're thinking about care, right? So chiropractic care, at least for me, um, is more of what I call like a salutogenic approach to care. So you have um, a salutogenic approach is not focusing on illness, symptoms, disease, um, because it comes from a perspective that you are not, you are not this disease, you are not this illness, you are not this pain. So let's focus on health. Let's focus on promoting optimal health in your body. um, And then that will occur. Um, So I'm not focusing on, although it is helpful, like, so Sydney, these, these um, symptoms are kind of what I call like markers are as we are progressing through care, are we seeing these markers improve? Because if you are functioning more optimally, we should see, we should see that pain um, and this um, dysfunction start to go away or lessen. So they are great markers for care. But it's not the complete picture because somebody could come in with no pain and still need an adjustment. They could still need help um, with their nervous system. So if we're waiting for pain to occur, it's going to be a lot longer of a process of care because um, from a neurological perspective, I have an analysis that indicates, do you need an adjustment today? Can your body handle an adjustment today? Where does that adjustment need to take place? And how does that adjustment need to occur? Um, So it's a very specific process um, that we're going through to kind of see like, do you need an adjustment for that day? Um, Does your nervous system need um, a little bit of an input to help kind of promote this innate um, healing capabilities to occur. So it is, I don't like to focus on the symptom (laughs) now. So um, I'll certainly say um, common things that people come in to our clinic with and that we see through adding in chiropractic care improvements in these things. Um, But I don't say that chiropractic is treating that. Really, chiropractic is not a treatment at all. Um, Your body is treating and healing um, with the chiropractic care. Okay, so you're promoting health. You're not curing anything. You're just enabling the body to do what it was designed to do and tolerate things the way it was designed to tolerate. Exactly. Yeah. So, And of course, this is just like how I do chiropractic care. Like I'm not speaking for all types of chiropractors at all. Um, 
And so, yeah, we're just unleashing this, this healing capability that um, we know the body has. Um, And it is a very different, um, I mean, we're in the United States, right? Like Western medicine is like kind of the primary type of care that most people are getting, right? Which is a very medicine-based type of care. And you have to have symptoms in order to receive that medicine, right? So we're kind of stuck in this, in this um, thinking that like, okay, I'm getting an adjustment. I felt better after that adjustment. The adjustment is what fixed my problem. And to a degree, yes, um, but also to a degree, no, because we're, we're honoring what like nature has created um, that our bodies, you know, you get cut you're going to bleed, but your body's going to clot and it's going to stop that bleeding. You're going to have a cut there still, but eventually that cut's going to heal, right? Like that's a natural healing process. Our body has these built-in mechanisms to heal, but what makes, for example, um, two people, two women that are in the same part of pregnancy one to experience low back pain and one not to. They're they're at the same point in pregnancy, one's having pain, one's not. Or they're going through an exercise like prenatal yoga or prenatal like weightlifting. One has been lifting the same amount forever, even prior to pregnancy, same as the other one, but all of a sudden one of them gets hurt and starts to have pain, what made her more susceptible to the pain um, or to the injury and not the other. So, and I think it all comes down to kind of stress, right? So we have what I call like the four T's of stress. We have thoughts, traumas, toxins, and technology. Like those are the four types of stressors. Um, So mental, emotional, like thoughts, during pregnancy um, are huge, right? Like whether that's um, preparing for labor and delivery or you're becoming a parent for the first time. Um, There's so many different stressors like that during pregnancy, right? And then you have the trauma, the physical aspect of it. And kind of like I said before, we're sitting for longer periods of time than our bodies were designed to do. We're sitting... um, on things that maybe aren't very supportive of our bodies, um, or we have a really hard working um, environment, right? That that your body um, physically has a lot of demands um, in your work environment. Um, And then you have the chemical, the, the, the toxin exposures, like what we're putting on and in our bodies or our environmental surroundings. Um, that are impacting our body, but also baby's body inside of us. And, and then you have the technology part that, you know, wasn't always there before um, to the degree it is now. And so those are the different types of stress that we can have um, put on our bodies that transfers into inflammation in the body. And that inflammation is going to target your nervous system and, um, and so I think people think of stress, um, kind of more like work related, um, you know, more of that physical, like, um, or, or mental, like taxing part of work. Right. But we have all these different types of stress that can happen on the body that can make us more susceptible to injury. Um, and so that's why I'm a nervous system focused chiropractors because I want to help people's um, adaptability to stress because again it's not going to go away so how can we better um, adapt to that stress when we experience it Um, and I think talking about that in terms of like pregnancy is is a great place to start because you're not only impacting your body but you're impacting your baby's body right you're impacting what your labor and delivery could look like, what your postpartum could look like, what your baby's entrance into this world could look like. That is so fascinating. I love those four T's um, of, I mean, that that's really an interesting 
kind of paradigm shift. And, and I like something I like is, is the way it sounds to me like you're, you're saying we want to change. We want to optimize your body to handle this stress because some stress we can mitigate, but some stress is just a part of, of life. And so let's kind of give our bodies the tools to handle it rather than just trying to change everything. I mean, yes, some stress we can eliminate, but sometimes you just hear a lot of talk about, well, you need to remove stress from your life and you need to um, pretty much change your life. But if you have a toddler, you're chasing, you're chasing that toddler. If you have to go to work, you have to go to work. If you're, you know, like you were talking about the the work environment and unsupportive chairs and different things like that. I, I love this idea of just supporting your body to handle it, but maybe eliminating it where you can. Right. Yeah. O- avoiding and eliminating when we can is um, great. Um, but yes, sometimes we do have um, things that we aren't in control of. So um, definitely kind of controlling the things that we can control and realizing that we do have control over some of these stressors Um, because sometimes I feel like we're put in a place where again like this is not like this is normal for a pregnancy like I just have to deal with this Um, but once you hear and realize like this does not have to be normal for you um, although maybe common it does not have to become your normal Um, and I think um, maybe society a little bit has put on us that, that this has become normal and I just have to deal with it. Um, and I don't think that's true. Well, that is really a great thing to hear. And I'm sure pretty empowering for those moms out there experiencing these symptoms to know that maybe they don't have to just deal with the sciatica or just deal with the lower back pain. Maybe there's something they can do to support their body in preventing Um, those symptoms. So that's really a very hopeful message to hear Um, and and to really empower women that their body is capable of doing this. And maybe we need to give it a little support, um, but we don't need medication or really medical interventions to to support these women, but, but we can just support their bodies to do what it was created to do. So I really think that that's a really hopeful message um, and a very practical resource. Yeah, definitely. I I think reducing um, things down to just the symptoms is missing a whole piece of the puzzle um, that we can provide care beyond symptom and pain relief um, and really kind of look at the body holistically and thoroughly to um, promote the optimal function, um, which will um, help with that pain kind of during pregnancy um, or for your child to whatever symptom they may be experiencing. Um, so yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, Dr. Cassie, thank you so much for taking the time. There's so many more things I wanted to ask you about and discuss. I feel like we could go on for hours if if we had the time. Um, but can um but unfortunately we're just running out of time can you um share with us kind of how people can find you and and um and ways that people can reach out to you if if they're wanting to maybe talk more to you about this or um schedule something yeah so our um website is a great resource so bennyfamilychiropractic.com um there's more information on there kind of about what i do and what my husband does um he's also trained in webster technique um which is the pregnancy technique um and then kind of if you're not around the area either a good resource is icpaforkids.com you can type in your zip code there and uh, it's a great resource for finding someone that is Webster certified, um, perinatal certified, or pediatric um, certified. So um, I'm all three of those. So if you're looking for a chiropractor kind of in the Black Hills area. Um, but yeah, so that's a great resource uh, for people. And then 
our, our clinic number is a great number to call if you want to just chat with us. Um, and then we also have social media accounts for Benny Family Care Practic. And then I also have kind of a professional Instagram account, um, Dr. Cassie Benny. Fantastic. And I'll link all of those in the show notes. If someone, you don't have to frantically write it down, you can just go down there and, and find those resources. Um, but that's really great. Thank you so much for taking the time and sharing this information. Yeah, I would just really encourage people to use um, those resources because uh, there are there is a big difference of getting um, care throughout pregnancy um, by someone that is trained, additionally trained uh, in, pre- in pregnancy, postpartum and pediatrics. Um, there, there's quite a bit of a difference in adjustments and kind of our goals of care to um, then maybe just the routine adjustments, so. Great, well, thank you. And that's really good to know too, that not every chiropractor is necessarily gonna have this training. And so maybe it's good to to go to that resource if you're not in the Black Hills and find somebody who is certified in what you're looking for to kind of get that optimized um, care. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, thank you so much and, um, I think we're going to end this here, but I really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks, Sydney. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode with Dr. Benny. As always, if you're interested in learning more about her or what she does, go on down to the description and you can go find out more about her and her husband's clinic. Her social media handles are also down below. Uh, as well as the icpaforkids.com website if you're looking for a Webster certified chiropractor in your area. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, consider liking this podcast and subscribing so you don't miss any new episodes. I'll see you next week.